Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over part 13 of the warehouse design series. And in this part, we're actually going to be putting in some guardrail into the facility. So guardrail is very specific to manufacturing, uh, logistics, distribution centers, all of the areas where they use forklifts and other material handling equipment or MHE. What guardrail does is protect important and vulnerable areas from being hit by those MHE or forklifts, and it keeps other people safe as well. So in this video, we're going to throw a guardrail in the facility. I'm going to show you where you want to put it. I'm going to show you what website I use to go look for guardrail, and we're just going to kind of go over the basics of guardrail as well. So that being said, let's get into it. All right, real quick, before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel. We've built a nice little community so far. It'd be awesome to see it get even bigger. If you like the video, leave it a like down below. If you want to see anything done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section below. And if you like the video or someone else could use it or find it helpful, feel free to give it a share as well. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take a step away from our drawing, and we're going to go to the internet and go to uline.com to look at some guardrail options. So when we go to Uline the, and type in guardrail, as you can see in the search result, I have found a couple different options, but the one I typically go for is this sort of guardrail. So we have a couple options here, but basically it allows you to take posts. You can order the posts and then allows you to order the cross uh, members slash beams. So right here, we have the two ribbed ones. We have the three ribbed ones right here. One, two, three. We have a single rail and then we have the lift out rails. What I would personally recommend is the two rib or three rib rails. It doesn't really matter whatever is cheapest, but I would recommend the uh, tall beam and would recommend using two rails versus this one. It's going to be a little bit cheaper. It's going to save you some money um, and it's going to be the safest as well. You can also use the lift out rails. Again, it depends on how much money you want to spend. That's going to be kind of a limiting factor here. But with that being said, we can go down and we can kind of see our options here. Uline gives you a great price breakout. They also give you great options. You don't have to order them from Uline, but it's a great place to search and look for to start. So we're going to go back over to our AutoCAD file now. And what we're going to do here is we are going to start adding the uh, guardrail. So where I have guardrail is right here. And I actually have a video on how to create and model that guardrail. And I'll link that up above as well as in the description. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this guardrail and we're going to move it over here for our first time. All right, so we're going to start putting the guardrail in place. And there are a couple spots that you for sure want guardrail no matter what. And that is anywhere a human is involved. So for this example slash starting out, we're going to come out about 10 feet from this door and 10 feet is an arbitrary number. You need most of the time at least 3 feet, but we're going to come out eh, 10 feet from the door. And now we have our gauge to start putting guardrail in. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the guardrail to 10 feet. And we'll just come off the base plate. And we want it in front of that door. So right there. Again, not too, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to get too specific on where you put it. Obviously, you want it, if the guardrail's in there and you need to put it in the drawing, then you want to make sure it's specific. But as far as installation goes, it doesn't matter too much uh, on specifics on how far off it is. It just needs to be a good length that you deem safe. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take this guardrail. We're going to copy it. And we are going to, we'll just select this. And since the guardrail uses the same base plate, we can just continue on with this base plate right here. And we're actually going to bring it all the way down to the manager front office as well to make sure they are covered uh, from MHE and other traffic as well. And we'll come out one more. And we're going to stop right there. Now this allows, again, people to come out but the guardrail to protect them when they're coming out. That way forklifts can't just shoot off into that area as they're coming out the facility. The next place we're going to add is going to be over by these desks right here. I'm actually going to take one piece of guardrail. We're going to copy it. We're going to move it up here. And we are going to actually 
rotate this piece because we want to make sure it's protecting the desks on both sides. So we're going to move it. We're going to come, we'll say right here. Again, you don't have to be specific, and that's kind of the cool thing about guardrail. It doesn't really have to be specific. It just has to be covering that area enough to make sure people are safe. So we are going to move this. Now, if you're in a facility where it needs to be specific, sorry, we're going to copy this. If you're in a facility that needs to be specific, then yes, you're going to have to measure it. But since we don't have anything else that is, um, you know, referencing the guardrail or making the guardrail a reference point, we are actually just going to freehand it, which is totally fine in this situation. We're going to take another piece of, well, we'll copy this piece of guardrail down here. And we are actually going to bring it up here. When you're putting guardrail in two, you also want to make sure that you leave enough room um, as an opening so people can get in and out. Again, that opening doesn't need to be too big, preferably the size of a pallet jack, but it doesn't need to be large or that small. We want to make sure, again, pallet jacks and everything else can get in there and humans can get in as well. So we're going to actually copy this. Copied it on the wrong spot. We'll just do the base plate. Okay, I guess I can't function properly. We're going to copy it this time instead of move. And there we go. And what we are going to do as well is we are just going to keep moving it past all the way down to the supervisor cubes. Now, these are 10-foot guardrails. You can get 12-foot, I believe, but I'm pretty sure it starts getting a little bit limited once you reach that point. So you're going to need to order a lot of guardrail for this. And again, too, if we wanted to, we can actually take out a space here, or we can add spaces, or we can kind of get a little bit more custom and have shorter guardrail and longer guardrail. Preferably, though, if you can just get guardrail that is a single size, it makes it a little bit easier to maneuver around. Then you don't have a whole bunch of extra spare guardrail that's awkward sized as well. Sometimes, again, you're going to want the small guardrail, but in this case, we can just use the 10 feet. And we're going to actually take this, and we're going to come down to one more area and put guardrail in. It's going to be right over by this trucker's lounge. We're just going to come right here here we'll say and then I'm going to copy it I'm going to move it over here here then here and I'm actually going to put one right here too just to make sure everyone's safe guardrail is one of those things where it's, whoop, it's kind of hard to overdo because there's always a safety aspect to it. So if you can purchase more guardrail or you have the ability to purchase more guardrail, it's never a bad idea. I would always recommend it. Although, again, guardrail can be um, kind of pricey. So just have to be careful with your budgeting items and all that other stuff. So we're actually going to come down here. And we're going to leave plenty of room for that person to come out, but not enough room for the MHE to come in. One more area I'm going to add to is just in front of this pump room. I moved it again. We want to copy it. Add it right there. And we want to make sure we have three feet. If we don't, we're going to move it up. Plenty of room, three feet in front of the pump room. And that is actually going to be it for guardrail in the facility. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is somewhat related to guardrail, but it's a little bit different in the sense that instead of guarding humans, we're going to guard this rack. So right here, I have a little piece of angle iron that I'm going to put next to or in front of the rack. So that way, when a forklift goes around it, it can't hit the feet of the rack and it won't damage the rack. This is a common area of damage for rack too. This is why we're doing this. I would also highly recommend this as this can save you a lot of money 
on the back end, even though you're going to have to pay a little bit up front. So we're going to take this. We're going to move it down towards the rack right here. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. And what we're going to do, whoop, grab that again real quick. We're going to move it down towards the rack. And we're going to add, we'll call it, we're going to find the center point right here. We're going to add two inches. And then we're going to grab that two inches. We're going to copy the selection right there. And we're going to put it on the edge center point of every rack. So we're just going to come down and do this. And I'll just do a few more on this side and then finish it up as this is going to take a bit of time. And I'll actually come over here too. Put it right there. And we're actually going to rotate this. We are going to move it. Well, actually, let's copy it, not move it. Find the center point. And just bring it down. And do the same with the other racks. And I will do the rest later. I'm not going to bore everyone with this as it's going to take a good bit of time because I still have to add the other racks. But that being said, would highly recommend putting these in if you are a site maintenance or facilities engineer because these will save your racks and it will cost you less money and time in the long run. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. I know it was a little bit of a longer video just to show you how to put guardrail in, but I promise you guardrail is extremely important to the operation. I will also say that based on adjustments that will be made, guardrail most likely will have to be purchased and put in elsewhere as well. This is just preliminary guardrail that goes in the facility of places we know where we want the guardrail at for sure. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, if you liked the video, leave it a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.